Good afternoon. My name is Rafi Gutierrez, the Senior Regional Training Officer of Samsung Philippines. I handle the IT products and I'm here to show you today the Samsung Any Web Print feature. Let's first run our browser to start the Any Web Print function. So, first, type a web page. To activate the any web print, go to the upper right hand side of your screen and choose Samsung any web print. As you can see, a small window with a page, an empty page pops up and your browser's window seems to have turned blue or gotten selected. That means the any web print has been activated. So let's go ahead and select the Yahoo logo. As soon as you select it, you can drag and drop it. Then let's go ahead and choose the, this picture. To do that, activate the Samsung Any Web Print again. Wait until this, the space is highlighted and go ahead and activate when you select the, the picture. And let's drag and drop it. What if you need another web page? That's fine. So let's go to the New York Times. Okay, and do the same thing. Select any web print. Now let's choose the New York Times logo. And this time, let's cut and paste a video or a picture here, this one. So look how easy this is. Imagine what would it be like, how would it look like, or what you need to do if we didn't have this very cool feature. Let's select like with text as well. Okay, all right, we've done enough cutting and pasting. Huh? So let's go to the full screen so I can show you how it looks like. There you go. So as you can see, it's very easy to manipulate the, the page. You can even add, delete, change the margin, change the page setup. So if you want to change, you know, the margin, make it like 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 0.25 here. That's fine. Okay. And see how easily we're moving around the, and you can also resize the element that you've selected. So the point here is, how, imagine what you would need to do if you didn't have this very cool feature um, with your printer. It's going to be a lot of steps, a lot of uh, things you need to, to do, a lot more things. And then you can save. So let's save it to a PDF. Trial for any web print. And you can print directly to here or from here if you want okay so let's let's see let's look at the adobe photoshop uh, i mean the adobe pdf that we created oops there you go all right